Hey, you guys are here. Listen, I'm going out for a run. I'll be back in a little bit. Enjoy the culture class video, and I'll see you when I get back. Later. Hey everybody, and welcome back to Adina's Culture Class. I'm Dijan. I'm Lindy. Let's get started. So, today we're going to be talking about weddings. Yay! Now, you got married recent, or a couple years ago, actually, right? Yes. Uh, eight years ago? Eight years ago! Yeah. But she doesn't look it, right? <laughs> um, and Chinese weddings are different than Western weddings in many ways. But today, specifically, we're going to talk about clothes. Mm -hmm. The clothes, the, the differences in clothes between Western weddings, and general Western weddings, and uh, Chinese weddings. So, in a traditional uh, Western wedding, a woman would wear a long gown or a big dress. Mm -hmm. um, usually it has what's called a main, or train, which is a long part oh, of the veil. Yes. Okay. Yeah, and it goes all the way back, mm -hmm. uh, and we call it a train, just like a choo-choo train. Oh, Same yeah. Sound. yeah. Uh, but the dresses are white. Now, in China, is that the same? No, actually, during the uh, during the wedding, the okay, the bride will wear something red, and uh, because red. yes, qi pao, because you know. Uh, no, the, wait, 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 qi pao. What's the qi pao? Qi pao is a um, is how say that? It's it's a kind of dress. So it's that traditional Chinese dress that we always see women wearing, where it's very like tied up here and very fit for fitting. Yes, yes, okay. that one. Um, and yeah, definitely it will be red because you know in China, in okay Chinese culture, red means happiness. Yeah. So, that's so red's happy. happy. Yes. Well, that's fun. I, I don't think I would ever, I could ever imagine a Westerner, a female Westerner, or a male. Wearing red to a wedding. I mean, typically we wear white for the woman, uh -huh. and the men wear black suits. Okay. Uh, so it's black and white. But red, I mean, to me, when I think of red, I would think of death. I would think of blood. I would never have thought of happiness. No, but... Different see, culture. Yeah, you see, in Chinese culture, uh, we wear white for funeral. Wow. Yeah, for funeral. So, so wait, wait, when we get married and we're wearing white, yeah. it, for you it symbolizes death. Yeah. And for us, it symbolizes like pureness and clean. Uh -huh. That's what white does for us. It's pure. That's why we have like the white doves, the white birds. Uh -huh. They fly out. Yeah, some people will have them at weddings to fly out. Or white rice. This oh. white symbolizes purity and cleanliness. Um, uh, traditionally, white would mean a woman is a virgin. She's never had sex before. Uh -huh. uh, the man wears black because, well, he's a man. Uh, <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> but no, I mean, that's typically why women would wear white for the Western yeah. weddings is to symbolize that they're pure. If they wear any other color, that means that they're not a virgin, they're not oh, pure. Okay. Um, so that's interesting, red! Yes, for a traditional Chinese wedding, we use lots of red things. Mm -hmm. Like we have the, uh, okay, the red dress, of course, and then we have the red envelope, we have uh, a red quills, a red pillows. Red everything. Yes, red everything. And But those are the traditional Chinese wedding. But now, there's a combination of uh, uh, Chinese, traditional Chinese wedding and a uh, Western wedding. Now, most young people will prefer to um, wear a uh, white gown too, but there will be, uh, how say that, okay, the, uh, following up, they will still wear the red dress for their parents, for their grandparents, for the relatives that are a little bit, okay, older. Okay. So, so there's a combination of these two. So now, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, because mm -hmm. what I've seen is a little bit different than what you're describing. So now I think I understand. So for Chinese traditional weddings, mm -hmm. a traditional wedding, yes, a woman will wear a, white, or a red dress. Yes, or her red, red. How do you say that word? A qi pao. Qi pao. Mm -hmm. Red qi pao. Qi pao. Qi yes. pao. And that's a Chinese traditional dress. And she would wear that for her grandparents and older people. Mm -hmm. But when they go to take the photos, which is not the same time as the wedding, which is different than Western weddings, which we will talk about in another time. Okay. Uh, but when they do the photos, she wears a white dress. Uh, during the wedding, too. During the wedding, too, she'll yes. wear a white dress. Okay. But there were definitely uh, a red dress. Definitely a red dress, too. Not just a white dress. Okay. So, 
So we try to combine those two together. <laughs> so we try to be modern and we respect the tradition. Awesome. Awesome. Um, all right. Well, that was great. Thank you very much for the help with the culture class. Uh, for those of you watching this uh, at home or at work or wherever you are, we hope you guys learned something well. Feel free to send us some comments and questions. Shoot us a message. Ask Lundy more about the Chinese culture and the uh, reason behind the dresses. Maybe she can show you some more information about that. Or if you're in China and you want to learn more about Western culture, send me a message. Uh, our information is at the end of this video and should be down below as well. Uh, until next time, I'm Di Shen. I'm Lundy. Looking see forward to your reply. There you go. <laughs> we'll see you soon. Bye now. Bye-bye. Hey, everybody. I hope you enjoyed today's Adina's English class video. If you want to continue learning or start learning English, let us know. Contact me with the email address or WeChat ID you see down below. In our classes, you will learn real-world conversational American English. So come on over, contact us today, and let's start learning. New classes start every month. See you in class. Hope you enjoyed today's culture class and learning a little bit of the differences between Western and Chinese weddings. If you have any questions or comments, let us know in class. Until next time, I'm Di Shen. I'll see you later.